Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to demote or decommission Windows Server 2012 R2 Domain Controller. In this video I'm going to start by making a quick overview of my current environment and I'm going to show you my uh, three DCs that I have. This is your 1, 2 and 3. I'm going to show you where exactly they are located at the moment and uh, what scenarios could occur to you and uh, how can you react in these situations. Uh, later I'm going to log into DC03 and I'm going to uh, start removing uh, Active Directory domain services from uh, remove roles and features uh, and within there uh, it will prompt me with the demote uh, this domain controller wizard and from there I'm going to demote my NLB-DC-03. After the demotion is done, I'm going to uninstall, completely uninstall Active Directory domain services and later uninstall DNS as well, making my NLB-DC03 a normal domain member server without any additional roles installed. And uh, at, at the end, I'm going to check uh, within my other DCs to see that uh, within my NLB lab domain, I don't have any leftovers from my demoted domain controller. I'm going to check the Active Directory users and computers. I'm going to check the DNS. I'm going to check the uh, sites and services as well. So let's start with the demonstration. So I'm going to start by um, showing you my current environment that I've built for this scenario. If you remember from my last videos, I um, had created a um, main domain controller and another DC that is uh, currently located into my branch office. And um, if, you, if you don't remember the scenario, you can always check my channel and see the videos, how I built uh, the, and promoted the first domain controller, how I created my forest and uh, my domain nlblab.com and uh, how I created later the um, the branch office DC. So I'm going to open Active Directory users and computers and I'm going to show you my current environment. So I have three uh, domain controllers now. Um, the, s the second one is in the branch office, the first one is my primary and uh, I've promoted another one which is uh, DC03 which is uh, currently residing in my main office as well. And um, from here I just want to show you how you can uh, demote, how you can decommission uh, Windows 2012 R2 server uh, from your environment. And if you were working with uh, Windows 2003 or 2008, we had uh, different processes in uh, decommissioning. For example, we had to use the DC promo uh, if we want to promote a domain controller or if we want to demote it. But now we don't have this option anymore. So um, instead, Microsoft gave us a really graceful way to demote uh, domain controllers within our domain without the need of uh, cleaning the Active Directory uh, because of any orphanate uh, objects left by this DC. So what I mean was before uh, when something happens with a domain controller for example and it's not able to boot, we had to do a metadata cleanup for that uh, DC. Uh, now the case is still um, the same but if this DC is not reachable at all, for example if uh, the domain controller is um, somewhere that uh, is not going to be connected to my network uh, so we want to forcefully demote it. I'll show you where is the tick box now that you want to forcefully demote this domain controller without it contacting the other DCs and uh, we had to boot uh, into uh, disaster uh, recovery mode and uh, perform a metadata cleanup so it was uh, really a painful job to do um, using uh, CMD and uh, other stuff but now we have a really a nice way to demoting the DC so I'm going to log into my DC03 And from here you can see that uh, this is a pretty normal uh, uh, active uh, uh, directory domain controller with uh, the DNS currently stored on it and all the uh, zones that I have currently uh, replicated for my NLB lab with all the records of course. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to proceed with uh, demoting the 
um, domain controller and so I'll show you every single step uh, that you need to go through and we'll try to explain all the steps that I'm doing so you'll know what uh, if, if you have such situation in your on the job uh, you will know how to proceed so I'm going to start by opening the manage tab and from here you can see that I have remove roles and features please note that you will be able to um, demote the DC using PowerShell as well um, you will be able to uninstall the features from uh, remotely from a, a different uh, from a, another server and uh, Microsoft don't recommend using uh, remote tools to remove the Active Directory uh, information but instead um, trying to to log in remotely and doing it from there so please bear in mind that so I'm going to click on remove remove roles and features and I'm going to click next I'm going to choose the NLB-DC-03 and going to click next from here I'm going to select the Active Directory Domain Services role and I'm going to deselect that and we will remove the features as well and straight away you will see that um, another window will appear and in that window it will say uh, that the validation results do not pass and there are problems and you are not able to um, remove the the role on the server but right on the bottom you will see that um, you have the option to demote this domain controller so um, you can you can use this if you click on this link it will start checking and uh, will guide you to the process uh, using the configuration wizard of how to demote your domain controller so I'm going for the settings to load and right away you will see that you have the option to force a removal of this domain controller as I said this is um, um, a last resort option if this uh, server is not going to be in my environment anymore you won't be able to demote it because it's not able to talk to the other servers and uh, in that occasion you will have to forcefully remove the active directory and then um, demote the server and um, uninstall the um, active directory domain services role but in situations that you have connection to all of your other domain controllers it's really recommended to go without forcefully removing that if you have uh, different uh, credentials you can specify them here you can change the credentials I'm going to use my domain and enterprise admin credentials and I'm going to click next and it's going to warn me that this server hosts the uh, roles um, DNS and global catalog I understand that and I need to check the tick box so I can proceed with the removal so I'm going to remove that as well and it's going to ask me for the new administrator password so after the, um, the demotion and the uninstallation my uh, computer will be um, a member server in a work group so um, you will need to log in with the local admin account so I'm going to specify a password and I'm going to click next and in here it will um, say that um, this, these are the options that I can review that I can um, go ahead I can see the script that is going to use a PowerShell script to demote my domain controller and from here I can click on demote and it's going to demote my DC So after the process is finished demoting my domain controller it will log me off and it will reboot uh, my um, server and it will boot after that uh, so let's see what will happen I will see what uh, happened after I've uh, demoted the server I can see that uh, currently I'm still going to be able to log in to my NLB lab let's see what will be left of my previous domain controller I can see that I have still have yep and uh, I think that uh, at this moment we are at the point where only the Active Directory domain services is installed so this domain controller was completely demoted and now if I go ahead and click on the um, 
warning message right on the top, I can see that I can promote this server to a domain controller. So what I can do now is I can completely remove the role Active Directory Domain Services and remove the features. Okay, so now without any errors I can remove that as well and I can click next or let's let's remove the DNS feature after that just in case we don't uh, mess up with the Active Directory so let's remove that and please note that uh, during the uh, demotion if your domain controller is the only domain controller within your environment you'll um, see another window and in that window uh, there is a removal options window in that window it will ask you to remove the DNS zone it will ask you to remove the application partitions and it will ask you to remove the D DNS delegation so it can it will be selected only by uh, tick box so if you are demoting the last DC within your environment um, you will see this option here I have other DCs within my environment so that's why I was not asked to perform this action so I'm going to close this window and uh, it's saying that a restart is pending on the NLB DC so I'm going to restart my domain controller right now well previously domain controller and let's see what will happen after that now that my server is up and running once again I'm going to log into it and I should be left only with the DNS uh, role currently installed on this server so um, I'm going to remove that as well just in case I don't want uh, the server to be uh, anything except from a member server within my domain and yep so if I go to manage remove roles and features okay I'm going to remove the DNS I'm going to click next and remove and uh, as I mentioned before if you remember during my demotion it asked me for uh, an account for the local administrator um, ac actually it asked me for to change the password for the local admin so if I demoted my only domain controller within my environment after that this server will be only um, uh, work group server a standalone server so that's why I would need to log in with my local admin in this case still I have the uh, domain because I have other domain controllers that currently hold it and now yep another uh, restart is pending regarding the the DNS so I'm going to reboot once again and let's see if my server is now only a member server of my domain without any roles um, no additional roles installed so um, I think it should be done now yep I don't have any roles currently installed only files and storage services um, if I go to my DC actually uh, the, my primary DC I, and if I refresh the view uh, and I'm currently within uh, the organizational unit for domain controllers I want to refresh and see if my NLB-DC03 will disappear from here let's see yep it automatically disappeared and most probably it went in the computers um, container because now this is only a um, uh, member of my domain it's um, yeah it's not a domain controller or nothing else I want to see just in case if everything cleaned uh, successfully from my uh, sites and services and no uh, leftovers are uh, left from my DC so uh, I would need to clean after it before it demoted I'm pretty sure that nothing is uh, left behind and everything is removed but but just in case I want to be sure also I'm going to check the DNS for any records any anything showing that uh, it's uh, still there of course I will have a, a record for my um, 
nlb-dc-03 but I won't have this uh, server as a name server um, for my domain for my DNS zone so I think everything from here cleaned just fine and when I go to my main office I can see that um, I still have the um, DC03 but I don't have any um, DNS or NTDS settings uh, in here so um, I think I'm not sure why this is still here but um, I can safely delete it from here because it's it's empty and now I still have my um, 0 01 server and 0 02 servers, one in the main office, one in the branch office. So I hope that uh, you'll be able to um, gather an overview of how you can demote a domain controller uh, that is running uh, Windows 2012 R2 and uh, you'll be able to perform this demotion uh, on your own. So thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.